Now, as I said, this teaching is very much progressive teaching. Okay? Uh, it should be your way of teaching as well. Okay? Progressive, step by step. That will be very much uh, convincing teaching to those who are eager to learn uh, who Jesus is and who Christian God is, which is not that easy subject. Often, although Christians are very much confused uh, in many ways, so in order to satisfy them, uh, we should teach them the true nature of our Christian God in a very in a very sequential, progressive, and step-by-step way. As the Holy Spirit inspires us. Here, my third subject, third lecture, is this. Very simple, but it is very Powerful lessons right here. The three persons are equal in all aspects. Every aspect in their nature, in their characteristics. Okay? They're all the same. Equal. Equal means in Greek word, I just Right down here, isos, isos. That's in Greek word. Equal means not just uh, you know equal. That carries all kinds of uh, elements involved when we say equal. So equal in authority, okay? Equal in authority. Equal in position. Okay? Not only that, equal in quality. And also quantity. Not only that, equal in character. Equal in nature. So, in all aspect. Three persons are equal isos in authority, position, power, quality, quantity, character, and nature. Let me repeat again. Father is not higher than Jesus. Father is not higher than the Holy Spirit. See, in our common understanding, we often failed in this nature of God. We sometimes said, oh, Father must be higher than, more authoritative than Jesus God. No, it's not. It's not. Okay, make sure that. Okay? So we will learn next week. We will learn more their dynamic relationship. We will learn that. In other words, that sometimes Jesus act, he acted as Lower than Father God. Okay? Because of his humble attitude, which we will learn next week and weeks follows.
okay? But in a, in a, in a original term, in terms of a relationship, they are equal in every aspect. Right here, uh, they are equal. Means what? Isos. Don't forget that. Isos. It means character, position, nature, authority in every aspect. They are what? Equal. Now, here, how do we know that they are equal? As always, I presented that issue, then we have to find out solution. Always, that is our approach. It should be your way of teaching. Okay? Always, we have to find out a solution to that issue, that question. Because that is the way if people anticipate from you, tell us solution, answer to that. Without that presenting the solution, answer, your teaching will not be convincing would not be powerful at all. Here, here its question is, Jesus, who was incarnated into humanity, okay, possessing 100% humanity, 30 years old, 100% human. This is a very, very important concept here. Okay. 30, 100%, 30 years of, years of human born in Israel, okay, and spent 30 years in Nazareth along with Jewish people. Now, don't forget that this Jewish people's concept, Judaism, Judaism, which is that at that time Jewish religion, okay, Judaism believing system on God, under the Judaism's believing system on God, is what they only believe. They only believe Father, only believe Father is their God. Not, not believing Jesus as God, not believing Holy Spirit is their God. Okay, Father is the only God. Don't forget this, this is very important. And they believe the Holy Spirit is just subordinate, subordinate of Father God, part of Father God. Okay? Not the equal with Father God. So Judaism believing system lies in Father God is only God. Almighty God, Creator God, they believe, okay? So they translate, God created heavens and earth. That God, okay? Genesis 1, 1, God, they considered that God is Father God alone. But they had a problem. Because that Father God is plural form in their language, Elohim. So they could not find the answer to that. Later, Messianic Jews, okay, 
came up with the solution that Trinity God, the God is, but by the grace of God, those very few first century Messianic Jews, disciples of Jesus and others, Paul, and also at the later time, today, currently, limited number of Messianic Jews believed that Elohim is a Trinity God. But remainders of Jewish people only believe that Elohim symbolizes only Father God, blinding their spiritual eyes. Okay, now here, the reason I'm telling you this, 12 disciples of Jesus at the time, that's the important part here, write down, at the time when Jesus dealt with 12 disciples, those disciples, their mindset was set by the Judaistic mindset. Judaistic mindset. Believing Father God is the only God. Okay? Not, not accepting Jesus God who is God, not accepting the Holy Spirit is God. Only believing in Holy Spirit is part of, subordinate means it's just a part of the Father God. That was Peter's concept of God, John's concept, and Andrew's Philip's, see, all his disciples, Father, their concept of God at the time when Jesus spent time together with them for three years public ministries. So don't think, don't, don't forget that. At that time, their mentality was that. Okay? With, with that conditions, Jesus mentioned here in John 5.18. John 5.18. This is a very, very commanding, surprising comment. It's a surprising comment. Jesus' word to Jewish leaders and his disciples. You write down that, okay? Now, Jesus made such a surprising comment as to his identity to Jewish leaders and his disciples who, who possessed Judaistic okay, mentality on God, believing Father God is only supreme God, highest God, and only God. Then Jesus all of a sudden told them, 30 years old, Galilean, Galilean young man, okay, whom they considered he is just a good teacher. You see? Even his disciples just thought this man is a good teacher, not considering him as Trinity God. They thought he is a good leader and our teacher. All of a sudden, this teacher, okay, claiming himself, identifying himself that, he said, I am equal with God. He said that. This means, okay, I am equal. Isos. Equal means here authority, position, 
power, quality, quantity, character, nature, all this aspect, I am equal with God. In a Jewish, you know, context, when Jesus said God means all these Jewish people believing that, that God is who? Father God. You see here. Father God. They said, Father God. That's their belief. Now, his disciples and Jewish leaders got really, really surprised. How could their you, our teacher, Galilean leader, okay, you 30 years old young man could claim yourself that I am equal with our Jewish father, very supreme God in all every aspect. For that reason, Jewish leaders, including those high priests, okay, the, and members of Sanhedrin, that's a political and religious leader, Sanhedrin, you know the meaning Sanhedrin? Okay? That is the Jewish parliament, I would say, Sanhedrin. It's a Jewish member of parliament, Sanhedrin. Those about 70 members. Highest, you know, government officers believe who, who had the Judaism religion, believing in only Father God, who is a supreme God. Okay. Their, their reaction to what Jesus made was very severely confronted with, confronted against their traditional religion. And they would claim that you, young man, you are, you are committing blasphemy. Blasphemy. You know meaning blasphemy. Bless, bless me against our God. Bless me against our God. For that reason, they said those who are blaspheming our God are destined to be killed, killed. So they have a right to kill Jesus. Even Muslims today, at the blaspheming Muhammad, even Allah God, they have a free to kill anyone who are against okay, blaspheming Islam God. In the same way, here in Judaism culture, whoever blaspheming their God, who is Father God, is destined to be killed. With that fear, okay, Jesus officially claimed himself that I am equal with Father God, your God. Where? John 5, 18. John 5, 18. Not only that, I have some more waiting there. Not only that, Jesus said to Jewish people here, I, I, and my father, can you see that? 30 years old man calling that 
My father means Jewish God. Okay? I am Jewish God, which is our God. Or one, he said that. One. You see? In the original scripture, one is, is a capital letter O. Capital letter O. Okay? And also, in the Greek word here, hen. Hen is a capital letter H in the Greek word. See? The dictionary says the hen with the capital letter means this is the one. That means this. That means one means same authority, same position, same power, same quality, same quantity, same character, same nature. That means one in capital letter and one in Greek word hen with capital letter H. Because of this statement made by Jesus, Jewish people tried to kill him. How could you say it like that? Blasphemous remark. His disciples was very suspicious about that too. But they could not, you know, condemn his teachers. But in their heart, they were so surprised and suspicious about what Jesus had mentioned. On his identity. They could not believe that. That's why. At the moment of. Crucifixion of Jesus. They all were. Scattered. Not. Attending. The crucifixion site. With an exception of John. John was the only one. Attended. Now, in the Greek word, "hase" it's a small letter. Small letter, "hase" is one. This means is one. It's small letter one. Okay. It's a small letter one expressed in Greek word, "hase." And Galatians 3.28. In Galatians 3.28, Paul said this, We Christians, we are one in Jesus. In Galatians 3.28, we are one in Jesus. In spite of differences in cultural background, and human background and all the sexual differences all are different sexually, culturally and humanly, tribally all different however in Christ we are one one family Okay. In this case, in Greek expression is "hes." In your language, just said "one." See, so when Jesus said here "one," okay, with Father, in in our translation, say "one," but it's a different one. Different one. Hen and "hes." Is a different one. Okay? So now here, John 10.30, Jesus said, 
hen i and my father are hen okay john chapter 10 30 hen and also jesus said this all things that the father possessed See, now he was telling Jewish people, okay, they believe Father possessed everything because he is the only God who possesses everything. Jesus, 30 years old young man, saying this, everything Father possessed, you Jewish people, are my possession. He said that. Isn't it surprising? So these Jewish people got very much angry at Jesus. And you are truly in view of all your claims previously. Okay. Now also you are saying, everything Father has are mine, he said. That. Can you teach this issue to your people? Okay? Now, also, this is three statements that Jesus made about himself. Okay? Now, Paul, as a third person, okay, by the, by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, in Philippians 2.6, which is very famous, although he said, Although he is equal with God, see, he became a human story. Remember that? In Philippians 2 6, he said, Jesus, let's say, 100% human Jesus is equal with God, means in their Elohim, in, in, in Jewish people's concept, is a Father God. So even Paul says, Jesus, who is 100% human, is equal with Father God in all aspects. Okay? Now, let me stop right here. Let me stop right here. Then I will give you one more lecture for today that relates to this issue. Amen. Amen.